All right, let's say we have an equation that looks like y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Now we know that it's a quadratic because the highest power is 2. And we want to be able to graph this, but our equation is not in vertex form. So remember, my goal is to get it in this form. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. If I can get it in that form, then hk is my vertex. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of this 2. The problem is I can't move it to the other side because y has to be all by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pair these two up. So let me rewrite it. These two will stay together because I need to complete this square. And the 5 is going to kind of move over because the only thing I can do is rewrite it. I cannot change its value, nor, <clears throat> nor can I do anything to both sides because the y has to be by itself. So to complete the square, this has to be a 1, not a 2. So the best I can do is factor it out. So I'm going to factor it out of these two so that I have my x squared. Right? If I distribute it back through, I have a 2x squared and a minus 4x. And I'm just going to leave a little space and put my 5. So as you look back through this, you'll see that I still have the same value that I started with. Now I'm about to alter this side. So the only thing I can do to alter it is multiply by 1 or add 0. So multiplying by 1 is not going to be very helpful here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a number here and subtract the value of that number here so that I'm effectively adding 0. So I'm going to go through the process to complete the square. So I take half of negative 2, which is negative 1, and I square it. The problem is I really didn't add a 1 to this side. If you take this and you distribute out the 2, you'll see that I have 2x squared, negative 4x, plus 2, and then I still have my plus 5. So looking back at the original equations, y equals that was part of the original, that was part of the original, and that was part of the original. This is the new. That's what I really did. So I didn't add 1. I really added 2. So to be fair, I would have to add 2 to the other side. But we can't. We have to keep everything on the same side. So I'm going to add some form of the number 0. So if I add 2, I will subtract 2. So look like if you spread it all out, if you simplified it all out, you would see that these three are the same terms, but now I've added two and subtracted two. So again, this is just kind of a little side note there. So I'm going to come back down here again. Okay, and I've got my factored out two. And the reason that I chose this value was so that I can factor it to be a perfect square. And then I put these other two together and get plus three. So now my equation of a quadratic is in vertex form. So I know that my vertex is the opposite of this number, so it must be a plus 1, and the same as this number. That was the pattern that we established earlier. And if you look at the leading coefficient, which is a 2, that's the same as the leading coefficient all the way at the beginning. Since it's positive, then this opens up, which means my vertex is a minimum.